Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, it's going to be a Team of the Week 8 investing guide, so if you are new, make sure to subscribe. We just passed 200, which is crazy, and our next goal is 300, so if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, and yeah, let's get right into it, starting it off with the uh, bench, so we'll start off with the subs and reserves, so basically, this Team of the Week is actually kind of pretty good, and it has a lot of potential, I think. Um, so I'm just going to start off with the subs, right? So, in the reserves, basically, I would say you shouldn't really pick any one of these up um, unless you wanted to. You could pick, you could pick this guy up just because he is German, and um, he could be used um, in the long run for other. I'll just bid on that. For other SPCs, so you could pick him up because he's German. Potentially, you could pick all of these up, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to pick up the one with the good nation. Uh, moving on to the subs, I'm going to pick up one of each of these discarded forms. Everyone's dis discard except Hazard and Richarlison. And right now, this card is like super expensive. I think he's going to be around 30k, maybe. After he goes out of packs. Right now he's about 60, 55. Um, but his once to watch right now is 30k. And that is a left wing. So that's also something I needed to point out. So you need to make sure to look at that and his inform. So if this goes to like 30, 35k, I would say that's pretty good buy. But I'm not sure how this card's going to be affected um, in the Black Friday market crash. Same with Hazard. He's an 84 rated. That's actually a bit up in value, right? Um, 26, 25k. I think you're paying a little bit too much for this card, even though he is Belgium, um, and he is from the Bundesliga. So, I would say I'm gonna try to get this card at like 20k, uh, just because that's where I think he's gonna settle at 20 to 25k. Um, this guy might pick a lot of them up. He's currently the cheapest. Um, he's the cheapest La Liga. Besides this man right here, the goalie, but he's a goalie. Um, he's the cheapest like player, I should say, non-goalie. That's in the La Liga, um, and he's Spanish, 81 rated, so that also helps a lot. So I might pick up him at discard. Um, I'm not gonna pay over 12k, 1150, 11500, just because I, I I know I can get him right. I know I can get him for cheaper. Um, this guy Ronid. I'm not even gonna start to pronounce that name, but all these are really good discard informs. Uh, these two are my favorite on the bench, and this guy, just because they're from good nations and good leagues. So, but I'm still gonna pick up um, the rest of these guys. So I'm gonna store them in my club. Um, and moving on to the starting eleven, we have the goalie, uh, Bonu. I think that's how you say it. Uh, he is a La Liga player, right? And he's the cheapest in form. So I picked one of these up for 10k today. So I'm chilling with that investment. This is currently the not cheapest, but new Prim Team of the Week. It's actually a really decent card, right? And I think that's a really good price for um, 18k. If you can get this card, because I think this card has a potential to go definitely over 25 right um i mean 81 pace 79 defending 74 physical 79 dribbling it kind of reminds me of ashley young's blue card and that was about 16 before it came out or when it came out a lot so this card's definitely going to be worth over 20 uh that's how i see it so i'm gonna hopefully pick him up under 20 like 17 15k i don't think he'll get down to this card though just because He's a better card. Uh, moving on to this guy. He is the second version of his inform. So there, he had another one, I think. Hold on. Let me make sure this is right. I'm pretty sure that's true. I think it's... Actually, I don't know. Let's check. Roman. Oh, no. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> so he's only had one inform. I must be thinking about a different Italian from that same club. Um, but this is a decent investment, right? 84 rated Italian and from the Serie A. 
uh, not him. Him, you can get him under, I would say under 25. Oh, there's one for 25, so maybe even cheaper than that. Um, if he drops, obviously, at 20, pick him up because he is 84 rated, and he's from a good uh, league and nation, so he's not going to stay at 20K. So if you can get him to 20, 21, 22, I think he can really spark in the next couple of days even because of the Aubameyang, not Aubameyang, the player of the month October um, on Friday. So that's a good card you can look at. Also blend or blind, I don't know how to say this. Um, he did have a scream card that you could get, right? But he is a 82 rated, basically discard info. I'm going to look at to get him for discard um he's not from the best nation not from the best league but 82 rated close to discard i'm probably gonna pick him up uh valeri he's currently the cheapest 83 in form so pick him up he's from a good nation not the best league but he is 83 rated under 17k i'm willing to pick him up for 15 to 16 i think he has the potential to go above like 18 19 20 somewhere around there and then Jao mario this is a really good card for this price, right? 20K, um, 24K for like this card. It's a really, I feel like it's gonna be an OP card, right? And he's uh, Portuguese, 84 rated. That is an amazing pickup. Actually, I think this is the cheapest 84 rated card, 84 rated in form. And it's from the Syria. So that's a really good pickup. I might pick up a couple of them. Um, but I'm not going to go crazy on him. Uh, Quaresma. Now, this is an interesting card because I think he's 4-star, 5-star. So that helps him a lot. Um, He's not from the best league, but he is Portuguese. So you could link him with some people. I think he's just... I think he's too rare right now, right? I know it's his first day. But I feel like he's too high in price. You can get him below uh, 50k, maybe. Hmm... I think you can go below that, like 45 maybe. Uh, but I'm personally not going to pick him up unless he drops a lot. Uh, the next one, oh, wow. <clears throat> Warner's not on the market. Um, Actually, this card has not even been on the market the entire day. So that's something you guys can um, keep <laughs> in the back of your heads. He's super rare. Uh, four star, three star, not the best. But, I mean, look at that card, right? 95 pace, 84 shot, 85 dribbling, 70 physical, and 72 pace, or passing. It's amazing. And then look at his in-game, right? He just has amazing in-game stats. Um, I'm not going to pick this card up because he has another inform. But if you want to try him out, you can. Same with um, Mertens. He's currently what? Uh, oh, hold up. Let's see if we... I'll just uh, keep these on the watch because they're open bids right now. I don't know why people do that, but they do. Um, but this is a card you guys can look at as well. Um, he's from Napoli, Syria, Belgium. Uh, he does link with a lot of players like Allen. Um, Allen is one of the most high, highest used, I guess, most used UCL cards there is. So he's going to link a lot with him. So if you're going to invest in Mertens, I would say... Um, I don't really like it, right? He's too expensive right now. His UCL was this much. Um, so I think he does have potential to drop or maybe even stay. I think he has the potential to drop a little bit. Um, but I think he might he might go up uh, tomorrow after rewards just because people want to use this card for the weekend league. Like 90 pace, 91 dribbling, and 85 shots. It's a really good card. He just is lacking that physical. But I'm not going to invest in him. Uh, Bilotti, now this is a pretty good card, but not something you guys are going to want to invest in because he is already like 50k. Um, he has a decent card, right? But personally, if he drops a little bit more, like if he goes to around, I'm going to say 40. If he drops to 40, I would say that's a good pickup. 86 physical, 81 pace, 84 shot, and 80 dribbling. Uh, Serie A, Italian, not the best club. But he does have five star weak foot, so that does help him a lot. Um, so if he goes below 40, I would say pick him up. I might pick him up if he goes around 40, 42, maybe below 40. 
So that's another person you can pick up. And the last person in this team of the week is Felipe Anderson. Um, this card is actually kind of crazy, right? He's about the same right now. He's about the same as his 84 rated inform, but his 84 rated inform dropped, obviously because he got this inform. Um, <laughs> this card looks so OP, right? 94 pace, 90 dribbling. He's lacking physical. He is four star, four star in the Prem Brazilian. But the thing that annoys me, right? He's the left mid. There's so many left mid, left wings, left forwards in the Prem. It is insane. You have William, you have Sane, you have, um, I don't even know. There's more. Felipe Anderson. Oh my God. I can't even think. Hazard. Uh, who else? Let's see. There's a lot. There's a lot of these. And player of the month of bombing, if he gets player of the month, he might be left forward because he played left forward. So it's just crazy how many left wings and left mids there are. So that's the only downside to that card. Um, but I think he will go up, definitely, after the Black Friday market crash. Um, but I'm not going to pick him up. So, I just want to make it clear right now, I'm not going to go crazy, right? I'm not going to go crazy with any of these cards. The only cards that I might pick up a lot of are Valeri, because he currently is the cheapest 83 rated. Uh, Jean Mario, he's the cheapest 84 rated. And either him... Uh, and these two, right? Probably not him. Uh, maybe though. He is a um in League One, and he is French, so he might be the best. Um, actually, I might not even pick up this guy because he's right forward. So probably both of these and Valeri and Jean Mario are my favorites in this team of the week uh, to invest in. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe if this video helped you out in any way. Like I said, we're aiming for 300 subscribers. Um. I'm not going to give it like, oh, I want 300 by this time. I just want to hit that. So that's going to be insane when we do. So you guys are new. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and yeah, I'll see you in the, in the next one.